that I was utilizing uh, 20 milligrams, and I, you know, I had the opportunity to kind of play around with the dosing at that time. Uh, and as well as the fact that I was very much of a novice at that time too, so I was playing with the dosing to begin with. And I found out that 20 milligrams was a sweet spot for me at that time. Mm-hmm. And I utilized for 20 milligrams for time B. And now I'm actually down only to taking five milligrams, uh, five to almost eight milligrams a day uh, to uh, you know, help me get a deep sleep and get a very successful sleep. So that's been working out well for them. And the reason that I'm actually saying I, my dose actually had decreased, obviously, yes, my condition got better. But also with the aspect of full spectrum, what it does is that once you end up having to reach a homeostasis and balance within the cannabinoid system, um, you could reach a certain point where you could actually able to touch the dose down from maybe from the high milligrams, just like myself, 20 milligrams, and down to almost five just to maintain what you need to do. So I have patients who were taking uh, a high dose of a CBD and uh, they were taking for quite some time and then afterwards now they're down to a lower dose because of that reason. It's all about the endocannabinoid system is all about the homeostasis and creating that balance and harmony. It's not about taking high doses and then trying to do the milligrams of CBD. That's never the case. And I think there's a lot of misinformation that's going on right now with the CBD industry and trying to reach that, you know, 500 to 1,000 milligrams of CBD products and then trying to shove it onto uh, consumers. When basically, when you look at the science itself, that's never the case. It's all about the harmony and creating that balance. And and also that those doses can be all individualized. And so that's the, that's a sweet part of it.